Hello, welcome back to Fleet Signal. My name is Alex. Welcome to episode two of how to play Planet 4. Today we're going to look at the building blocks of a Planet 4 army and also at how tactical action cards or tacks work. So first up, let's look at how an army comes together in Planet 4. Planet 4 armies are made up of battle groups, which are represented by a helix map, which you can see here. At the center of every battle group, figuratively, not literally, is the core helix. You have to take a core helix in every battle group you make. The core helix can either consist of the minimum requirements, which will be listed in the faction's orbat, its army profile list, or you can max out your core helix, or you can go anywhere in between. It's up to you and how you want to build your army. To start with, it's a good idea to use just the contents of a core helix box, or one half of the two player starter set, and add more as you become more familiar with Planetfall. So here you can see the helix map with the core helix in the middle, and what are called attached helices surrounding it, which are the Air, Heavy, Assault, Recon, Strike, aka Leviathan, and Field Support helices. Each type of attached helix has a different role in the army depending on the faction, and it's important to note that the helix type doesn't always determine what kind of models it'll contain. For example, the Worked Raptor Recon helix has aircraft, which you might think should be in the air helix, but aren't. You can attach up to two of each of these helices to your core helix. However, if you attach two of any given helix, that will make the opposite helix type on the map unavailable for that battle group. For example, if you were to take two strike helices, you wouldn't be able to take any heavy helices which are opposite the strike helices on the helix map. But you could take a strike helix and a heavy helix. As well as attached helices from the same faction, you can also take allied helices as well in several different ways. First up, you can take a helix from a natural ally without penalty. Remember, every major faction in Planetfall has a natural ally, which was outlined in episode 1, so check back there or check the rulebook for a list of the alliances. So for example, in an Aquan army, you could take a Turkai Recon Helix and an Aquan Recon Helix in the same battle group. Doing so would still knock out the opposite helix though. You can also take a non-natural allied helix from the same pact, Kurok Alliance or Xenian League, but taking just one of these will knock out the opposite helix. So if I want to take a Terran Leviathan Strike Helix in my Aquan army, I can only take one, and doing so would knock out the option to take any heavy helices. The third and final way to take helices in an army is to take an allied battle group. This basically adds another battle group to your army from an ally within the same pact. That additional battle group must consist of only one faction and it can't cost more points in total than your main battle group. So I could add a Dendrenzi allied battle group to my main Rolthosa battle group, but the additional Dendrenzi battle group would have to be purely made up of Dendrenzi helices and it wouldn't be able to cost more in total than my Rolthosa group. Be sure to confirm with your opponent or the tournament organiser the number of battle groups you can take. Another thing to bear in mind is the number of points you'll be playing. The average total army value in Planetfall is about 4,000 to 5,000 points, which sounds like a lot, but it's roughly equivalent to about 1,500 to 2,000 points in certain other popular war games, and in general will consist of about 3 or 4 helices depending on the faction. All of your helix selections must fall within the points total you'll be playing at, so keep an eye on that as you build your army. The final thing to mention about armies is the Orbat Special Rules, which are Tactical Bonus, Logistical Strength, Skydrop Focus, and Specific Racial Rules. The rulebook does a good job of outlining these, but in general the Tactical Bonus is the number you add to any opposed tactics tests or rolls that you make, and in Planetfall you'll make a lot of these. The logistical strength is the amount of logistics points that you can buy when you make your army and use during a game to influence and change opposed tactic test results. The skydrop focus is simply the value that you initially set a skydrop token to, and specific racial rules are rules that are specific to that particular faction. Okay, so those are the basics of making an army for Planetfall. It's pretty easy to do once you get going, and there are helpful tools out there, such as Battlescribe, to help you put together an army. Alternatively, you could use good old fashioned pen and paper. Now let's go over to the table and have a quick chat about tax. Okay, so here we have a deck of tack cards. There are currently 28 different tack cards in Planetfall, and their role is to add a bit of spice to, to a game of Planetfall, and to also provide a hidden information element to the game as well. Not every tack card will be applicable to every faction though. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a tack card. 
Okay, so there are several different bits on a Planetfall tack. The first bit is the title, which obviously tells you what the card is called. The next bit is the bit in the hex, which tells you what the card actually does, and also might list some conditions that you might need to satisfy to play the card. The next part is the logo, which can either be a faction logo, an alliance or pact logo, or the letter U, which stands for universal. And lastly, we have the cost of the card. Okay, so here you can see four different tacks from Planetfall. This one is a Terran tack. This one is a universal tack, denoted by the letter U, which means that any faction can use it. This one is a Kuruk Alliance tack, and this one is a Xenian League tack. Okay, so that's how tacks work, and later on in this series, we'll learn how to use them in a game of Planetfall. Okay, so that was episode two of how to play Firestorm Planetfall. In this episode, we looked at the basic building blocks of how to build a Planetfall army, and we also looked at how tack cards work as well. In the next episode, we'll take a look at the pre-game phase, and we'll also quickly touch on the turn structure as well. As always, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this video, depending on how you felt about it, and be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with new videos on this channel. Also, please do check out Fleet Signal on social media, and check out fleetsignal.com as well. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, see ya!